sports channels for you, isn't it? So it kills it for me. I know, and then when you start adding too. the pieces up, it's not necessarily how many would I pay for, it's how many would be less than what I pay for now for regular cable. That's the that's the thing. And right now it's not breaking the bank if I don't get rid of the cable. Right. So I gotta have my HBO. I don't have any of that stuff. I don't <laughs> I have any of that stuff. All right. You got the weather channel? <laughs> I do have the weather. You know what? My husband watches the weather channel. I just call Bobby Deskin. I, don't watch the I just call channel. Bobby Deskin. Yeah, I, I guess I just don't watch it anymore. Why watch the weather channel when you have Bobby? That's right. That's right. Well, my stuff that I watch. All right, Florida Southern College, Lakeland. I'm going to show you this camera because it's dry right now. There's actually a lot of showers coming through there in just about 10 to 15 minutes. 87 degrees right now, 61% humidity. Feels more like 90 three degrees out there. It is muggy. There's the bigger storms. You can see them well over on the east coast. Uh, that, that's where most of the storms will be, but you're going to see a couple of showers left over. What happens, these storms here had outflow boundaries that came back, and that's what's happening right here. They're running up against that, and that's why we're getting a few more showers and thunderstorms. So downtown looking really good. Out towards the fairgrounds, the, uh, the uh, Dirks Bentley concert looking good now at this point. I think we will be clear. It's going to be warm and muggy, but that's it. Fishhawk, line of rain just went through. That's going to head into western, southwestern Polk County, eastern Manatee County with a shower now. This is where most of the rain is. Newport Ritchie, you've got rain coming in. Hudson, it's just about there now, crossing 41 as well. So Hernando and Pasco counties dealing with a little bit more rain. Some of this will flare back up overnight tonight. So after about 2 or 3 in the morning, we'll watch for a few of those to come back on shore. So now let's get your forecast out of the way. Tomorrow, a lot like today. A few showers and storms along the coast in the morning, 88 degrees for a high, tends to work its way inland in the afternoon. Now, Sunday is different. Father's Day starts drier, winds are out of the southeast instead of the west, and that means more typical afternoon showers and thunderstorms, about a 60% chance, but mainly late in the afternoon and the early evening hours. Now, let's talk a little bit about the tropics. We're going to be tracking this for you over the weekend. This is the main system that we're tracking because it's close to us, but this is Invest 92L. That's actually looking pretty decent. Let's start closer to home. This is what we've been talking about last several days. This is going to drift off towards the north and the west, but the models vary on this a little bit. This is the GFS model, and this is the one problem for us. The center's out here, but it's broad. It's disorganized, and because of that, it gives us a lot of rain. This is Monday into Tuesday into Wednesday. You see a broad, unorganized center out here in the western Gulf of Mexico. That would be good because we're not going to look at a developing system or a strong one, but that would mean the, the less organized it is, the better chance we get some of this heavy rainfall Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and then it goes off towards the west. Now, the European model, this model is usually a pretty good model, and it's been pretty consistent of keeping a more organized system and just taking it back off across the western Gulf of Mexico towards Mexico. Less rain for us. If it's more organized and it gets a name, we'll have less rain Monday and Tuesday out of it. So that's that. Now let's talk about this one. This actually looks pretty good. It was a big thunderstorm complex that came off of Africa. Pretty good rotation, losing a little bit of uh, thunderstorm activity. But the forecast model really just kind of loses this. This is the GFS, brings it into the southern Caribbean Sea. Not too much there. The European model is pretty similar to that. So seven day forecast, Saturday, Sunday, we'll have the showers and thunderstorms. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, that's what's up in the air. We're gonna track this for you all weekend. As a matter of fact, what you can do is you can follow me here oh. on my Facebook page. Look at this, guys. Bobby yeah, Deskin's hello. Weather. And Bobby <laughs> Deskin's Weather. Bobby D. Weather. That's my Twitter, my Facebook. And what I'll be doing is cutting weather briefings like this throughout oh, the weekend. And you can follow Love me there. It. And we can get you all the updates that you need. Bobby oh. D. Cool. All right, this is a story for us, right? Save yourself some time in the morning. Wait, wait.